We're four weeks away from Matt 23 officially dropping. In today's video, we have some ratings for wide receivers. We'll be going over the top three wide receivers. I'll be leaving all the links down below. Let me know down below. I know you guys will have your opinion. Who is missing from the top wide receiver? Who got the worst rating? Who got the best rating? Let me know down below. And don't forget, guys, trying to stay updated. The only thing Madden related, especially 23 news. Now that we're getting ratings, make sure you guys follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show the videos some love and let's jump into it. Before we jump into the players, especially comparing the top three in my personal opinion, let me know your thoughts down below. When you guys pick up the game Ultimate Team, do you guys play regs? Do you guys play franchise? Or are you guys like me? You guys are big mutt heads. Going off this list already, even though the stats will be different, especially the overall, you guys can make a prediction on who's going to be some of the best players in Ultimate Team. So, for example, even though Devontae Adams in regs is a 99 overall, I'm predicting that his overall is going to be a high one, either an 87 or 88. But overall, just know that these aren't exact stats for all the players in Ultimate Team. So, with that being said, EA will be updating this list every single day, I believe, or at least counting down to the game when it officially drops. So, like I said, I'll be leaving a link down below. But let's jump into the top three wide receivers, in my personal opinion. What makes them special and who is overall the best one? So jumping to my top three wide receivers right now and going off their overall and ratings is top three right here on the screen. Devontae Adams, this guy finally got traded. Now surprised that he left the Packers, but at the same time, he's going to his old quarterback in college, Derek Carr, and the guy got paid so well deserved for Devontae Adams. Not to mention back to back years of 99 overall. Cooper Cup, one of the best players last season, especially. When they went all the way to the Super Bowl and won. This guy was so underrated. And I feel like once they won the Super Bowl, everybody was giving him his credit. And finally, every single year, the best speed guy, the best wide receiver, at least the first month of Madden, especially in Ultimate Team, just because of the speed, Tyreek Hill. He also got paid, man. All three wide receivers actually got paid. So congrats to them. Devontae Adams is a 99 overall in regs. Cooper Cup is a 98 down below. Who should have been 99 overall? I know a lot of people are saying Cooper Cup is well deserved for 99, 998, but let me know your thoughts down below. And Tyreek Hill, a guy that's really known for his speed, 97 overall, not bad. So jumping into the stats, everybody always wants to know what do I look for when I pick up a wide receiver, maybe an online franchise or an ultimate team. I always look at a couple things. Number one is speed. This is like true. Speed will always be meta in Madden no matter what, so speed. Acceleration is like a plus with the speed, catching and short route running, especially if you guys plan on putting the wide receivers in the slot, but overall route running. So catching traffic is really good. I consider catching traffic more important for a slot wide receiver like Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, but not Tyreek Hill because he's more of a deep threat type of guy down the field. So those are the things that I always look for when I plan on picking up a wide receiver or at least trade for one. With that being said, Tyreek Hill for sure wins that. And he's going to go back to back with the acceleration, which is known. You know, Tyreek Hill, the guy has wheels. The guy has speed. Jumping to the catching, this is for sure where it's close. Devontae Adams and Cooper Cup have 99. 88 for Tyreek Hill, which is still pretty good. Guy's not really known for his hands, in my personal opinion. More on his route running and speed. So, for me, that's very close. Jumping down to the catch and traffic in the route running. You have to scroll all the way down. But just know, if you guys want to go on the website, you guys can compare any wide receiver or tight end, and especially quarterbacks, cornerbacks, and strong safeties, and do the same thing. Compare the stats, find out who you guys like, especially if you guys play regs. But jumping all the way down, here we go. Catch and traffic. Well-deserved. 99 for Devontae Adams. Cooper Cup has an 88. Tyreek Hill has an 85. I don't know why. I feel like an 85 for Tyreek Hill, that's a lot. That is a lot. Show route running is a 98, so besides the speed, Devontae Adams and Cooper Cup are both really good. Cooper beats Devontae in that stat. And how does Tyreek Hill have 93 show route running? I feel like that's really good for him, considering his stats in the past. Medium is a 97, 98, 93. Deep is a 95, which is understandable. 94 for Cooper Cup and 96. I feel like Tyreek Hill should have an overall of a 99 for deep route running. But overall, the best wide receivers out of all three, let me know your thoughts down below, is Tyreek Hill just because he has a speed. So you guys see the top 10 list right here on the screen. These are the overalls, and then we'll be going over to every other list, like catching and route running. 
But overall, Devontae Adams, 99. We already went over that. Cooper Cup, 98. Tyreek Hill, 97. And now, at number four, that's where I have a problem. Hopkins, I don't know. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm for sure putting Diggs and Jefferson over Hopkins. So, that's my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below. Mike Evans, 92. Terry McLaurin. My bad if I said that last name wrong. 91. Keenan Allen, 91. And Amari Cooper at 90. Who are we missing? If you guys ask me, where is Jamar Chase? I know Jamar Chase and the Cincinnati Bengals were going at EA just because, I'm not going to lie, they kind of disrespected Jamar Chase, in my personal opinion. The guy was in the Super Bowl. At least give him some credit just because he was a big playmaker and factor of the Bengals going so far. Him, Joe Burrow, or Joe Burrow. Hey, you guys really can't hate on that. If you know, you know. Jumping over to the speed. The speed, you guys already know. Tyreek Hill, he owns the speed. And a new addition to the speed is Jameson Williams. 98 overall for the speed. Tyreek Hill has 99. So I'm predicting that Mr. Williams will be part of the rookie premier program. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys get all 15 tokens. I know right now there's kind of still a glitch that if you guys do all the sets, you guys aren't getting your 15 tokens. So... Then they hopefully EA updates that in Man 22. But make sure you guys get your rookie premieres. Trust me, it's a good investment and it will be worth it within a month. At number three, 98 overall, Mr. Watkins. I believe this is second year. Number four, Jalen Wado, 97 overall. Hardman. Hardman always has good speed. I feel like this year, I believe this year he's on a good team or a new team. 97 speed, 97, 96, 96. DK Metcalf at 95. A oh, man. DK. Guy's like a freak of nature. Reminds me of Megatron. He's not as good as Megatron, but man, the guy, just his build, pause, and the way he's strong and he has speed and he can catch the ball. Yeah, the guy only runs like four routes, but still, he's really, really good. And now for speed, I feel like everybody always wants the top three, especially in regs, even more in ultimate team. So I'm telling you guys this right now, these top three players, they will be the best ones you know, one might be a gold player versus an elite, but that doesn't matter. In the first week, especially month of the game, speed is worth every single coin or every single payment. Something to consider, you know, speed is meta. Now, jumping over to the catching, Devontae Adams, 99, 99 for Cooper Cup. Stefan Diggs, 98. It's a good thing they didn't disrespect him. Terry at 97. Hopkins at 96. Why is Hopkins, like, within the top five? Am I crazy? I'm not trying to hate on the guy, but Hunter Renfro should be over Hopkins. That's all I gotta say. I know he didn't play all year long because of injury, but still. Come on, you guys gotta give him some credit. I feel like Hunter Renfro is a big playmaker, but catching, let me know down below. Am I wrong? Is Hopkins better than Renfro? Let me know. Amari Cooper at number eight, Tyler Bold at number seven, and Justin Jefferson. So damn. This guy, within a couple years, will be considered the best wide receiver, in my personal opinion. He's so far back-to-back -back in the top 10. But, man, Devontae Adams, besides the speed and Cooper Cup, those guys are the playmakers, especially for catching. For top 10, for short running, I don't know. In my personal opinion, it's a surprise that Tyree Kill is in the top 5 just because he's, like, a deep threat. And I feel like Hunter Renfro should be a lot higher. But, man, short route running... I look at it, especially when I'm picking up a wide receiver to put in the bunch. So, I don't know. These are the top 10 guys. Like I said, I'm surprised that Tyreek Hill is ranked so high up for short route running. He's known for deep route running. For medium, okay, he's out of the top 5 for Tyreek Hill. Right now, he's at the number 6 at 93. But same thing. You guys really can't change the top 4 or top 5. Allen made it the top 5. Hopkins actually went up. Which makes sense. He's more of like a medium route running guy. But Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams, man, they're owning almost all the stats, stats, especially in the top three. Deep route running, like I said, Tyreek Hill. He owns that and speed. Devontae Adams still within the top three, plus Cooper Cup. So, man, those are going to be the best guys. And Jamar Chase, he actually cracked the top 10 at an A9 overall rating. So, I don't know, man. I feel like they're disrespecting. I for sure think they're really disrespecting Jamar Chase in the top 10 list. But overall, the playmakers, the top three guys within all the list, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, and Cooper Cup. If I had to pick one, like I said earlier, 
Tyreek Hill is the guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you guys try to stay updated, make sure you guys follow the channel. This was just the wide receiver ratings for regs, but just keep this in mind. It won't be the same in Ultimate Team, but just from the top three wide receivers, you guys can already know who's going to be the top three wide receivers in Ultimate Team. Maybe 87 overall, you know, 87, 88, maybe an 89, but just know Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, and Tyreek Hill are the best starting at the game. Not to mention our unknown rookie premiere. There has to be one that will be the fastest wide receiver in the game, at least top three or five. So don't forget, if you guys want to stay updated, make sure you guys follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show the people some love. And I'll see you guys on the next one.